tomorrow. I give your whipping boy the strokes which you have fully earned this morning, sir. I trust when you see his pain, you will repent your inattention. Oh! Oh, Master Kells! Cannot this wait? Neither the prince's sister nor his cousin care to witness the violence of your schoolroom. I'm sorry if I've offended the lady's sensibilities. What are you studying, my lord cousin? Tacitus, Lady Jane, and dull work I'm making of it. But once at ease with the ancients, my lord, you will find much profit in their wisdom. You must have more care of your Latin grammar. <laughs> Fie, brother! You must have more care of your whipping boy. Good Master Cairns, mercy for pity's sake. As my lady pleases. It does please me, Master Cairns, and thank you. Here, Master Marlowe, take this for your suffering. Remember, brother, a prince ignores the pain of a subject at his peril. I'm sure there must be a Latin motto to that effect. Is it not so, brave Master Cairns? There must be something hereabouts. Ha, 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 ha.